Um, this is going to sound. I'm just going to just. Um, it's going to sound bizarre, but it's the truth. What I'm about to tell you. See this cat up here. This is my cat Katana. Now the other night, I was in the front room. It must have been about ten o'clock. Um, my cat was on my lap, Tony, and she kept looking at something over in the corner where my guitars are. So I put my hand over her face. She still was, you know, she had to look. She had, she kept trying to look past my hand. So well, I, you know, and she must have done this for a good three or four minutes. Oh, that's, that's Munchie, I think. Or is that me? That's Munchie, the other cat. But it was Katana. So anyway, I couldn't figure out what she was looking at. And I didn't bother getting my camera out. And I didn't bother getting my voice recorder out. Because I couldn't see anything. I couldn't feel anything. Well, this must, like I said, this must have gone on for a good couple of minutes. Um, do you recollect in one of the Ghost Hunters episodes where they filmed like this black mass coming out of, it was like a kitchen area or something, you, and it and it moved quickly? Well, I actually saw it. Which sort of surprised me because I, you know, I only thought they could be caught on camera. Because um, what happened was after a while, after I decided to let Tawny just keep looking, try to find out where she was looking. She was looking towards my guitars. So I thought, well, okay, I'll just stare and see what she's looking at. Next thing I know, I saw this black mass. Sort of like that funny thing that they caught on film and Ghost Hunters. It sort of like slithered over my guitars and behind the dining room table. And that was so weird because, you know, I was, I presumed that it would only be able to be picked up and on camera, that it couldn't be seen visible. Um, but I, it, it amazed me, to say the least, that to see what, to see for myself what Grant and Jason actually filmed in Ghost Hunters. So I'm beginning to wonder if these black blobs or whatever it is, you know, because now I've actually seen one. Um, I just wished I had my camera when I saw it because I, you know, it, well, to be quite honest, I couldn't even believe I was seeing it. Because, I mean, okay, I, I photographed other, thing, other things, the paranormal and that, but I thought it would require infrared um, to be able to capture it. And, you know, so it, it never dawned on me I could actually see this thing. And um, so anyway, I, was, I saw it, and I, <laughs> the strangest thing was, I didn't get scared or anything like that. I just was sort of uh, trying to ask, uh, you know, I was thinking, well, did I really see it? Or, <laughs> But it, what, like I said, what got me um, staring in that direction was my cat, because she obviously had sensed it. Like I said, this one here, she's the most sensitive cat. She, her and my dog are more sensitive. And, um, yeah, Munchie, she's sensitive to earth earthquakes. Um, they, they each are sensitive to their own different things. Um, so anyway, I, I, funny enough, after I saw it go behind the table, Katana, you know, jumped off my lap and carried on as normal. But, obviously, that's what she must have been looking at. Well, thanks, darling. But, it but to see it for yourself, you know, to, that something that was um, filmed over in the States, and like I said, I thought it could only be picked up on camera, infrared, but to actually see it with my own eyes, you know, sort of surprised me. I've seen apparitions that don't bother me, but this black mass, whatever it was, I've never seen anything like that, and, um, no, I just, sort of, it, like I said, my cat, she was just, you know, she was insistent on staring in that particular area of the front room, she wouldn't, um, she would, she had to look, and all, and because I couldn't draw her attention away from it, I thought, well, I just might as well join her and, and stare and 
you know, not expecting to see anything really, because, you know, animal eyes are much more sensitive than ours. And there it was, this black thing, this black mass. It, it went, because I got, I got my guitars in the corner, and it literally went over one of my guitar cases, went down, and because the wall is white, you could, I could see it even more clearly when it went up against the wall. And it's sort of hard, it, it didn't look solid. You know, I don't think, I think if I had touched it, I wouldn't have felt anything. But it, uh, you know, it just suggests that we have a multi-layer universe and um, that what we think, we think our lives are three-dimensional, but we're coexisting with other dimensions. And, you know, it's just, uh, I, if I can, if I, if the cat senses it again, I'm going to make a point on my camera ready. Because I definitely want to get that on camera. I, honestly, it was weird to actually see it. Because, um, the act, you know, Barnabas has quieted down. So I haven't had anything like that. Um, I haven't picked up any more EVPs. So it's been quite, just that black mass. Just, can't, it, it was just weird, it, you know, it didn't, um, I don't know, it was like, it was like it was a living, um, organism that sort of, I don't know how I managed to see it, um, it was like it was on another level, and, you know, maybe there, there's other life forms that live between our world and wherever it is they come from. I mean, they, they, they must somehow pop in and out. And, um, I just begin to think that these things, um, because we don't see them all the time, we just, you know, don't give it any thought, but when you see one, like what Jason and Grant, um, caught on Ghost Hunters, when you actually see one, it makes you query, you know, are these things with us all the time? We just don't notice them. You know, but it's, it gave, it, I got the impression, I didn't sense that it was like a spirit, you know, a spirit entity of a person. I got the impression it was like an organism uh, in its own right, you know, uh, like, a different kind of life form, you know, a bit like the rods. That's the sort of sense I got from it. It was like the rod, except it wasn't a rod. And it was just that big black mass. But you might, um, if you remember the episode I'm on about, where they saw photographed that black thing going on that table, uh, or was it a more type thing? I know it was like a silver table. They videotaped it. It was exactly like that, except I saw it by my guitars. And like I said, I'm wondering if um, it's some kind of new, like the rods, I'm wondering if it's another new life form that's with us and we just aren't always aware of them.